right, guys, today we are going to be making our radial origami designs. So radial symmetry is a little bit different than normal symmetry. Symmetry, we know, is when something is the same on both sides, right? Well, radial symmetry means something is the same from coming out from a center point, right? Things that are radially symmetrical are things like flowers or spider webs, right? Things that have a center point and are the same as they come out, right? We are going to start with a black piece of paper and you're gonna start by folding corner to corner. And just like we do with our origami folds, we're gonna make sure that we are lining up those corners really well, lining up those edges really well before we do our nice sharp crease. Okay, we're gonna open it back up. You should have a line going down the center. Now you wanna fold it the other way for the other two corners. Lining up those corners and those edges. You should now have an X on your paper. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna now fold it like a card, making sure to line up those corners and edges before you crease. Open it up, and we're gonna do it one more time. So you should have a total of one, two, three, four fold lines. And what it ends up doing is make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little triangles. Now, I know it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see those fold lines on the video, so you guys won't be doing this for your project, but just for the video so we can see really well where those lines are, I'm going to go over those lines with this silver Sharpie so we can really see them for the video. All right, there we go. So that's what your folds look like. You guys, again, like I said, won't be drawing the lines like that, but for the video, it's important that we really be able to see the lines. Now, we are going to have origami papers of all colors for you to choose from for your project. There's lots and lots and lots of colors. And you guys know how to do your kite folds, how to do your hat folds and how to do your samurai folds, okay? So what I kind of like to do to start is the colors will be laid out in a tray for you. They won't be in a stack like this, but I kind of like to look at the stack and decide what colors are speaking to me, what colors I think go together really well. I'm kind of thinking I wanna start off with this green color, okay? so. Maybe I'll start off with some hat folds. But this video is not as much about our folds as much about making something radially symmetrical. So I'm gonna quickly do this and we'll jump to the next part. Okay, so we're making something radially symmetrical, which means it needs to be the same on all sides. And these lines really help you to make sure everything is radially symmetrical as you're going on the whole time. So you can see a hat fold fits really perfectly in that, that space. It covers two of those triangles. And to make it radially symmetrical, meaning it's exactly the same on all sides, I have to do the same thing all the way around. Now I know it is tempting to want to do like a pattern, like every other one, but that wouldn't be radially symmetrical. Let's take a look. So if I take these two out, Even though it looks symmetrical, it's not symmetrical. It's not the same going all the way around. It's not even technically the same when we're talking about symmetrical being the same on both sides, right? 
because this, if we're folding it in half, it should be purple over here, right? So it does have to be the same all the way around, okay? So you get to work your way outwards, use those lines, use those spaces for help. That helps you keep everything in like a really symmetrical way, but also evenly spacing everything out. You are going to get to decide what folds you're using, what colors you're using. And guys, that is what ends up making every single one of these look so, so different from each other. So a little trick I've noticed is you will either end up making eight or four. So <clears throat> let me show you what I mean by that. I can either put this kite fold directly in the center and line that point up with that line and it's coming directly out of the center of this hat fold, or I could make, oops, I haven't glued these down yet, or I could have two coming out and you can see that really perfectly fits into those two spaces. Now, when I'm gluing these down, I'm gonna make sure that I'm lining them up with those two fold lines that are on your paper, okay? So, you're either gonna end up making one, two, three, four of something, if you're putting it into the quarters of your paper, or you would end up making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of something, which I think is what I'm going to do with these pink ones. I'm gonna start gluing stuff down. So like I said, make sure you're always lining up with those lines, those folded lines that will be on your paper. That's so important because otherwise I've seen them start to look a little wonky and a little bit lopsided and a little bit, you know, some like weird empty spaces where people kind of started to not be as symmetrical. Okay. So keep that in mind and you can, you can see these kite folds are, they are really great for stacking inside of other kite folds or hat folds are really great for stacking inside of each other. I love that you can kind of tuck them in. I've seen people put them over. There's really just endless ways of making these unique and interesting and your own. So now I'm ready for my next round. And I'm thinking I wanna do these purples. Now what's also interesting is you can change the design quite a bit on how much of the next color you're showing. So you can have it like pretty far in or you can have it be further out. It's really up to you. But it changes the look of it quite a bit. And people that wanna have like lots and lots and lots and lots of colors will usually have them stacked closer together, right? And it's really up to you, but let's review. So you can either do eight of something. So I can have eight of these going all the way around. I could do like four of something right here, like coming off like that. So it would be one, two, three, four, right? Now, if I'm gonna do eight of these, they need to all be the same, right? But if I try to start doing like that, it's not radially symmetrical. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna keep going. I'm making sure when I'm gluing this down that I'm putting it directly in the center of this space. I'm kind of making sure I have the same amount of space over here as I do over here. I'm pushing them the same distance in. So if I have this one sticking out this far, I also need to have that one sticking about out about that far. All right, so your project is done when you've made your design reach the edge. Now, I still have 
open spaces here, here, and here. So I can try to fit, you know, one more thing between here. If I'm doing eight, it means I'm being radially symmetrical, right? So eight or four, I'm being radially symmetrical. So I'm thinking I wanna fit one more thing right in here. I just think I have too much open space. I wanna fill it up. Ooh, I like that. I like my samurai fold on the end of that, which doesn't fill up my space, but maybe I'll figure something else out for that. And you can see, it's just really up to you how you're gonna do your design. So I love that. All right, guys, I think mine's all done. I really love it. I really considered what colors I was gonna use to make sure that they would go really well together. I used all three of my folds. I have hat folds in here. I have a lot of kite folds here in the center and some samurai folds on the end. It is completely radially symmetrical. Anything that is coming out of one section is coming out of every other section and it goes all the way to the edge and even, you know, some of them off the edge, which is amazing. I seriously get so excited about this project, guys. Every single one ends up looking very, very, very cool. Um, just get creative and come up with some new ways of putting things together. I'm excited to see what you do.